Hello Cancer, it's your girl Ivy Ladone. Welcome to your November 2023 Oracle Reading, where we dive into your energy body and we discover what themes of life you're moving through for the month of November 2023. Of course, you have your extended reading below in the description box and that will have all of the information on how you can work your light, what you can focus your attention on and how. Uh, for the month of november in order to activate or to heal throughout your transformation process okay so let's go ahead and dive right in by the way make sure that you like this video if you're into things like this it lets me know and if you're not subscribed what are you doing subscribe let's go all right let's do this highest vibrational messages for the sign cancer for the month of november 2023 which chakra or which energy center point in their body is it that we need to look at or are we focusing on for the month of november thank you for these messages whoa all right all right all right my friend um i'm gonna shuffle one more i felt the need to shuffle one more so we're gonna just do that okay all right any other messages that would like to come out okay that's why <laughs> are we ready and that's why got it okay okay Ha. Huh. Let's put this in the order they came out. All right. So, Cancer, what is it that we're moving through in the month of November 2023? All right. So, I'm going to actually read it in the way that it came out. Instead of reading it, like, numerologically, because I can do that, and I can do it based off of, like, the order of your chakras, which I, I don't want to say there's a, a definitive order, but... Um, yeah, there, we can go through that, you know, color order, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to go based off the messages and how they came out. All right. So the first card that comes out for you, take what resonates also. Okay. Take what resonates and then just leave the rest. Also, some things may resonate a little bit more as the month uh, moves in. So some things you're listening to right now, but you're like, oh, I don't know yet. Give it some time. All right. So first card that comes through is number 21 exposed and revealed and this is a solar plexus card and again we're looking at your your energy body to see what themes of life and where you have to bring your focus to in the month of november so you're having you're already having to bring your focus to your individuality your uh form of expression but it's not so much in like the way you identify with yourself it's more like how you show up for yourself how you show out in the world um, so already we're looking at those themes. Second card that comes forward is number 23, healing the heart. And of course, as you may have hinted, this is the heart chakra center point. All right. By the way, the solar plexus is located here in the pit of your stomach. And then your heart chakra is located right here in the center point of your chest. And then the third card that comes through is number 12, bearing fruit. All right and the sacral energy is located two inches below your belly button and so we're looking at the sacral we're looking at the solar we're looking at the heart so do you see what i, I did there it was literally one two three uh, or one two three but you're definitely working within your digestive system uh, this framework of your body energetically speaking and so what can we say about that what are the themes here so off of looking at this it's like as if, I want to say in the month of November 2023, you're seeing a new side to yourself. Like you're seeing yourself in a new way. You're seeing parts of yourself, your personality, the way that you do things, uh, what you actually like, what you actually want, your value system. Um, you are seeing yourself and you're experiencing yourself in a very raw place in, uh, in the month of November, maybe for the first time ever. It's exposed and it's revealed. So think of, not just think, but look, look at the visual here. It's an eye, but in the eye, it's an, an, an individual. Can I speak? An individual. And in the eye, you can see the individual like very raw. You know, it's like that vulnerable, um, energetic uh, of like, I've seen and now I'm feeling exposed because I feel seen. Don't fret. This is not a matter of you like hitting, you know, Time Magazine and like the whole world now knows exactly that you love to eat at night in your bed. But it is. 
<laughs> let me know in the comments below if you're that kind of person because honestly sorry but i like my my night munchies sometimes but um no this is not about that this is about you so this is about you seeing yourself in a way it's like in a big it's a big aha moment it's kind of like the oh my gosh wow like it's that kind of thing for yourself internally speaking and you're feeling it right you're sensing it i do want to say that though that this whole episode of like exposed and revealed it actually is more of like an exposing of what your truest desires are because you have the heart chakra card here and so putting these two together it's like you're exposing you're revealed you're seeing something for the first time really raw within your heart and it's the process of healing so when we do this kind of energetic work my friends we're looking at things of either because we're transforming always we're transforming always we're either ascending or we're descending but we're never just okay um and so what we're doing here is we're healing we're healing the problem without with with not healing is that you will continue to do these right habitual patterns and live and exist in this kind of frequency and therefore blah blah blah, blah. so this is important that you're listening to this and i'm thankful that you're doing the work because we always say that we want the world to change, but we all need to start within ourselves. So thank you for taking the initiative to do this and be here and listen to this reading because this is part of a self-development practice is listening, right, for guidance in this way um, with those who feel called to come forward and share messages for you. So thank you. I see you. And I also want to say that for the month of November, you know, nothing, if you're feeling already like kind of like, because I can sense a group of you kind of being like, oh gosh, like, what is this? What is going on? What, you know, I don't want to feel this. I don't want to boo pause. The 3.0 version of yourself, the, the liberty that you want to feel, the freedom, the limitless feeling that you want to have in your heart and your emotions and your self-confidence and all that, it's all waiting for you. But you have to understand that there are many layers of you that perhaps are blocking or rerouting yourself or self-sabotaging or maybe just unaware completely and you need awareness you need clarity you need um cl like clarity literally and energetically in order to achieve and go into that 3.0 version of yourself does that make sense so exposed and revealed is simply just seeing like yourself for the first time really raw your heart right um in a very raw way and it's giving you gifting you an opportunity to heal your heart okay now the sacral energy here is an emotional uh embodiment of all of this the sacral energy like i said is located at the th two inches below your belly button and first of all let me explain that the solar plexus is about your individuality your solar plexus is about the way that you show up and express for the things that you believe in or lack of meaning you don't show up so you're fighting or you're flighting right for your it's that fight or flight response that oh energy solar force the heart chakra is about your deepest deepest desires though those which bring you ultimate joy which is your deepest desires that bring you authentic joy some of us know what our deepest honest desires are we judge them or we don't some of us we don't because of fear of judging them from ourselves or from others etc but the heart chakra is about your innermost joy the sacral energy is about your it is about your creativity but connected to the realm of emotions because it is a water element area a chakra but it's also the center point for creation so you're either creating something into this existence either through birthing right an actual being or birthing yourself again re rebirthing yourself it is the womb area and it says bearing fruit so in the month of november 2023 cancer i want to say that you know there's this new version of yourself that you're finally able to birth um that or either or, or it could be either that maybe some of you are pregnant that can be for a group of you right or that you are seeing yourself in a new way as a mother um maybe exposed meaning that you want to have children also that could be it right we're just seeing some things here but ultimately i just want to say that for the month of november 2023 you have an opportunity to rebirth yourself rebirth yourself in a new consciousness way in a new reality way in your heart way um understanding understanding a deeper desire or a deep 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 joy deep heartfelt desire um that perhaps you haven't really known or given thought to or even attention to in a long time or ever 
and in the month of November, it's actually here to, to show up and to help you heal. So I absolutely love that for you, Cancer. If you're looking for assistance on how to maybe help yourself through this transformation and this healing, I would highly recommend to consider taking one of these stretches. You can also maybe consider one of these dance cardio classes because they're super fun and they are moving the sensual sacral energy. And so does the intuitive one. One is a slower one. One is a more fast paced one to get you into that movement. So it's up to you which one you'd like. And of course, if you're into learning on how you can work your light, your actual energy go ahead and check out the extended reading in the description box below because we're gonna go ahead and dive right in and I'm gonna go ahead and give you even more of a guidance um, using my PDF little note form which I'm super excited to use all right bye cancer thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one